Get on you, horse! You don't... Very merry! Yeah, uh, whoa. Alright, sweet. Ooh, wait, that's right, we're trying to climb a mountain here. Probably gonna have to get off of the horse. Uh, back to Zelda! We have to... Oh, shit, we gotta climb so high up! Wait a second, alright, hold on, this... This is hopefully, like, an updraft that I can ride. No, it's another Korok. Which isn't bad. Cause I mean, like, I'm collecting these things. But, oh, I have to climb this mountain, don't I? And there's no trail up it, it seems. I just have to straight up climb this shit. So get the climbing gear on. And hope that it doesn't start raining. Oh, there we go. Up to the top. There's another flock of birds up at the top of this mountain. For whatever reason, I don't know. Wait a second, I have speed food. Speed food also affects climbing speed. Oh, not that one. There we go. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Ultimate speed! Yeah! Fuck looking for the ultimate speed horse. I can just become the ultimate speed horse. <laughs> Trying to refill my stamina. Oh no! Uh, no! I had it! It was right there! I got greedy. Oh, I got so greedy. My stamina refills faster too, it seems. Go, 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 Just run up the mountain. Uh, almost there. I fucking love how fast they just speed up the animation. That's it. That's how they make them go fast. They just mm, turbo speed that shit. Whoa, I'm so fast. Holy shit, this is way too fast. Thank you for the flowers. Da, 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 da. What's through here? It's a, another fucking Korok seed. Oh my god, you're gonna make me follow this shit. I don't have time for this. I'm going down the mountain at this point. Oh, you son of a bitch. Where? Oh, right there. Bam! That's the Korok. Alright, cool. Thanks for wasting my time. You know, I just made it to the top of the mountain, and you were like, go back down the mountain, you piece of shit. Woo! Turbo speed! Ha ha! Ooh. 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 It's a spring. Under a, uh, a pink tree. Makes me think this is possibly some kind of fairy fountain, but there's no fairies here right now. I wonder why. Now then, as for uh, the shrine, where the hell is it? <laughs> no hint, huh? Alright, come on. Well, which one am I at? I'm at the Mog Latin shrine, apparently. So, Mog Latin. There we go. The shrine is located to the southwest of the Ridgeland Tower, across the river on the south side of the Satori Mountain Peak. So, south of the peak. Oh yeah, this isn't one that requires a quest. I could have just like homed in on it with the uh with the radar. Is this it? No. Skeletons here. Fuck you! Fuck you, skeletons! Ah ha ha ha! Alright, which way? Ooh, this way. It told me to go this way. What the fuck? Oh, very strong reading this way. I don't. Oh, found it. 
It's next to three trees in a row, so that makes me think there's a Korok seed in them. Whatever! So hurry up! I gotta hurry up while I still got this speed boost. The last one is across the river, which will be easy to glide to since I'm at the top of a mountain. Strafing! Do you know how to strafe? Well, let me tell you. Ooh, synced swing! Oh wow, my speed boost is way too high. Do I have a Korok leaf? I think I might need something like that. Uh, no. There we go. Now then, how do I get this to swing? Hmm. Can I stasis it? And whack it? And then unstasis it? Oh, wait. Oh. That kind of worked. All right. Ah, shit! Yeah, I need a Korok leaf. Which is why I guess there are three trees right outside of the entrance of this trial. Oh, that one stopped swinging too! Cool! Can I even make it back? No! Am I screwed? I think I'm screwed. How would I... Mm. Okay. Um... Let's try bombs. Nope. Wait, what am I doing? They're mag- they're fucking made of metal. <laughs> they're made out of metal. I don't need a Korok leaf. I can fucking draw this shit to me. And woo! Yep. Yep, okay. Puzzle solved. I'm a big dumbass. Well, what the fuck? Really? You want me to slice that shit? Damn it. What kind of... Oh, I only have like three normal arrows. There! Wasted two of my arrows! Now then. What's in this treasure? <gasps> the Forest Dweller Spear. My inventory's full! Hmm. Okay, that's not gonna work. I wonder... Come on! More! More! Whoa! Okay, it went straight up. It didn't, like, go in the direction I thought it would. Damn it! Well, I gotta get rid of a weapon. Again. To get a better weapon. Again. And it's looking like I'm getting rid of this torch. Bye, torch! There we go. Got this cool wooden spear. It'll come in handy when I'm in a lightning storm. Which, again, I have the thunder helmet, so don't ever have to worry about thunder. Ever! Never again! Now give me my fucking... There we go. And far away. Ooh, actually, can I cheat this? And just loop it around? Ha <laughs> ha! I can loop that shit around! <laughs> Woo! Who cares if it can swing? I fucking loop that shit. Oop, shit. Bad. Bad. Very bad. Yeah. Uh, and then over. And back under. There we go. Physics, bitch! I know him. You know him. And there we go. Solve the puzzle by wrapping the chains around the top little uh, railing. And then it won't, doesn't even have enough length to reach all the way to the bottom. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Shut! Ooh! Run! Forced all the bow. Oh, my inventory's not full. Ah! <laughs> gotcha. Thought you could stab me, huh? 
There we go. Nice and safe. Alright, can I get... Can I get... Can I get this one? There we go. There we go. There we go. And then actually... Oh, shit! Do I get to respawn on moving platforms? No. No, you do not get to respawn on moving platforms! <laughs> Whoo! Okay! <laughs> really respawning me on the edge here! Uh, give me back my... Whoa, okay. And everything was well... Until right here. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> gotcha. Gold rupee. Hey, that was worth it. And those are the three mystical treasure chests of the shrine. Ow! Oh, shit. Woo, physics. Remember when I was talking about physics a few seconds ago? Yeah, well, that's physics, too. Fucking momentum and inertia and kinetic energies. Damn it! There we go. And then just sort of drag this. Yeah. Now then, what horrible thing will happen when I hit this? Oh. Just that? I don't... <gasps> Hmm. No, I don't- I don't need this at all. I just have this that can shit- set shit on fire. Oh. Okay, I see what's going on here. Um, bomb cannot light stuff on fire, but you know what can? A fire arrow. Boom, there. Everything's on fire now. So, oh, I thought this was a giant iron block. No, it's just a door. Did I push open? Yeah, it looks like I pushed it open. I'm in! <laughs> really? It won't let me examine something if it's, like, not seeable by the camera? Okay. Ooh. Your resourcefulness! Whatever. Spirit orb. Boop. Refill your lost health because you're a dumbass. May the goddess smile upon you. Where is she, by the way? It's been a hundred years. Is she okay? You didn't leave her to fight some kind of giant evil demon monster, did you? Oh. Yeah. You should probably go help her. I've almost... Oh, shit. This is going to be my 100th trial. Yeah! Which also means my 100th spirit orb. Yeah! Is it like Super Mario? Oh, whoa, there's a crow right next to me. Hello, crow! Or a pigeon. You're adorable. Oh, it's a mountain crow! I'm so close to it. Look at that. Now, what can I do with a crow? Oh. That. Okay! Oh, hey, look! Burnable thing here, too. Yeah, Korok. Yeah. Ow, what the hell hit me? All right, well, did not solve that riddle fast enough to um, have my speed boost still, so whatever. We're just gonna climb to the top of the mountain, glide to the next Ooh, Moglatan Shrine. Oh, wait, that's where I just was. Anyway, <clears throat> top of the mountain, and then I'll glide across the river, and that'll put me at the next shrine, which will be with the 100th shrine. <gasps> eggs. Delicious bird eggs. Are the fairies there yet? Or at all? No. Hmm. Totally looks like a place where, like, something would be. Now then, uh, 
Right over there, yep, okay. Here we go! Kind of going against the wind. But I, I can't really do anything about that. And then we can head over to that tower. Over there. Is that the one? Oop, shit, shit. Yep, that's... Wait. That would be the one over there. And then, according to the guy, the uh, fairy fountain should be relatively close to that. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah, there's birds over here, too. Why are the birds hanging around these weird mushroom tree formations? Also, ooh, oh, that's Cass. Okay, Cass. Tell me about this magical place. Oh! Yeah, this is the shrine quest area. Grab it, grab it, grab it! <laughs> okay! Whew! There's a note here. I leave here a record of my search for the ancient songs of Hyrule, Cass. Whoa, is this like Cass's house? I found out where Cass lives. When the moon bleeds. Oh, excuse me. Was it a bit rough on the ears? Ah, you've done well climbing all the way up here. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Yeah. Excellent. Without further ado... When the moon bleeds and the fiends are reborn, the monk will invite you as they have sworn. But first you must stand on the pedestal bare, with nothing between you and the night's air. What? Hmm, when the moon bleeds. I wonder what that means. May the light illuminate your path. Fuck you, Cass! Knock it off! <laughs> Get it there. All right, so this is your house? Did I find Cass's house? It's not... what the fuck? Wash his bluff. Alright. I leave this record of my search for the ancient songs of Hyrule. The ancient song of Pago Woods. It seems that song has been passed down through the ages of the Pago Woods area of Faron. The song references mythical creatures such as dragons and giant serpents. I wonder if such a creature really exists. The ancient songs of the West Hyrule Plains. On the south side of the Hyrule Plains is a bridge called Jeddo Bridge. Near the bridge, there are a number of circular rocks with holes in the center. Peculiarly enough, these songs are apparently mentioned in an ancient song from the area. Hmm. Near, apparently the Rabia Plain is in the northern part of Hateno is a home to an ancient song about beasts. Hmm. So this is like where all of the places cast will show up. The ancient song of Gerudo Tower. Yeah, he was there too. The ancient song of Kalora Lake. Apparently there's an ancient song about the giant boulder in Kalora Lake in the Faron region. I hear it's prone to violent thunderstorms. Yeah, I went there. That's how I got the rubber suit. The ancient song of Horan Lagoon. The winds in Horan Lagoon are very intense. I've been there too. Campinto Bay. Or... Kitano Bay. Hmm. So I'm supposed to go to all these places. Wash his bluff. Yeah. Okay. Cass? You alright? I'm oh, just going back to play. Alright, so. I have to wait for, like, a blood moon, but, uh, waiting seems boring. Alright, I guess I gotta do it. I gotta wait. I gotta wait until a blood moon shows up. Uh, so, how much wood do I have? I have some wood. Boop, 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 boop. Throw that shit on the ground! Make an ultimate campfire. How much flint do I have, too? Okay, I got plenty of flint. Yeah! Shit. Alright. Let's see if this works. Huh. Huh. There you go. Three pieces of wood. Three pieces of flint. Bam! There's a campfire. Wait until night. And if those two other pieces of wood are still there then we've got a good thing going on. 
Oh! Hmm. Okay, the horizon looked really red, so I thought maybe this would be the blood moon I'm waiting for. Shit. Alright, the other two pieces of wood are still here. So I'll go ahead and set up the next two campfires. Is this a blood moon? It's hard to tell! I gotta wait for the actual moon to show up. Where's the moon? Well, at least we got Cass here. What's that? It's on the shrine. Alright, so apparently that... Tower! Is where I gotta go next. After I'm done with this. This is the last shrine of this area. The 100th shrine! And I gotta wait for a blood moon to... Freaking activate it. How fitting. That it would be some, like, tedious shit like that. Oh, there's particles in the air. That, that this could be a blood moon. I could I could have really lucked out and gotten a blood moon on my first night. Come on. No, that's not a blood moon. I think a blood moon's during a full moon. Or a new moon. So how about this? Boom. Wait until night. Even though it is night, will it be the next night? All right, it's 9 p.m. the next day. When the blood moon bleeds. And question, can I relight this? Oh, I can relight it with a piece of flint. Okay. Don't even need to relay down wood and flint. Just need flint. More flint. One piece of wood, extra flint. All right. So... This is boring. But this is the kind of shit that I do off camera, but... Since it's been so long since I recorded, I wanted to just do literally anything on camera. So, we're waiting for a blood moon on camera. This is gonna be- a, this might be a long episode, depending on how many nights this takes. The moon rises at 10 p.m., so I can check it right then and there, and figure out if it's gonna be a blood moon or not. Come on. Come on! Show me! Oh, the moon's getting bigger! Damn it. Wait. So, hmm, there's only like four moon phases. Okay. Wait till night. So that can't be a blood moon. So the next night will be a waxing moon. And then the night after that will be a full moon, which will probably be a blood moon. Ha! Huh. Shit! <laughs> I had one job. Fucking start a fire. Hey, Cass. I wish time passed while talking to you, otherwise... I would just talk to you forever. What else do we got around here? Alright, so there be the tower, there be a shrine, there be the divine beast. Ooh. Hmm. There are little red particles all over the sky when there's gonna be a blood moon. Also, the music turns very sinister. Like, it literally, like, looks like the shit around Hyrule Castle. Just little flakes of that. In the air. Show me the moon! Come on! Moon! There we go. Alright, that is not a full moon. So it can't be the blood moon. I'm, I'm going purely on, like, what the fuck am I even doing? I don't even know if this is all accurate or not. Is a full moon a blood moon? Oh, hey, what's up? Let's Now we can test some shit out. Alright, so. Master Sword. And literally any of my bows. And a zappy shield. Yeah. Come on, lightning. Strike me down, I dare you! Bitches. Yep. Oh yeah. It's all building up. Boom! Damn, that lightning killed me. Almost. 
Now, let's test all that out with the lightning resistance stuff. There we go. Three levels of shock resistance. Because I do have the topaz earrings. Now then. It still has, like, a very small, like, amount of lightning uh, attraction. Actually, I should eat just in case this does kill me. I don't want to die. Oh, wait, I have Mipha's Grace. But I don't want to use it. I'll save that for when I need it. I freaking literally made food for these sorts of occasions. There we go. I'm also going to try to relight this fire with lightning. But you see how it's taking longer for the lightning to strike me? Damn it! Also, I took less damage from the lightning. So how cool is that? Now, with the straight-up Thunder Helm, will I take any damage at all, or will the lightning just not strike me? Hmm. I guess this will start to glow if it's a Blood Moon. Ooh! Oh, ho, ho, here comes the lightning! Very, very frightening. No damage. Nice. So lightning will still strike, but it won't do any damage. Ah, that does not look like a blood moon. Damn it. Well, I gotta get back up there, somehow. And just camp at the fire. Okay, so I can climb this because it's underneath the rain. Although I just wasted too much stamina trying to do that. Come on, refill. Refill! There. Get ready for a long episode, people. Because I am straight up waiting for a blood moon. And I was fucking around with lightning effects. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, you have to climb upside down to get up these. That is not cool. Oh, my stamina drain. Ah! Ah, oh shit! Don't fall. Don't fall. Yeah, I was about to say, don't you dare fall. You're so close. And... Yeah! <laughs> hey, Cass. You want some lightning? Boom! Alright. Okay, well, he's got plot armor. If I ever saw it. Damn it, I can't even light a fire. Oh, wait, maybe I can light a fire in here. Although it might set Cass's house on fire. I kind of need to wait out this storm. Wait, hold on. What am I doing? I can hold both at once. Do I put down the wood and then the flint separately? No, fuck that. Bam. Sit until night. So that wasn't a blood moon. And... Just in case this isn't a blood moon either. Cass, you are still drumming away at that freaking accordion. Like, you are a master of your craft. This should just be glowing if it's a blood moon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I still kind of want to wait for the... Actually, fuck that. If the blood moon isn't the full moon, then it must be the new moon. So, rest until night. So now we're on the waning moon. And then, this night will be the half moon. Right? And then, rest again. Let it just roll over to 9.05, there we go. This will be the waning moon. One fourth moon. And... Just gonna double check the freaking pedestal. No. Okay. Ah! Shit! Yeah. And then no, I don't. I don't care about the journal. I'm on fire. Okay, this, if my counting is correct, should be the new moon, which means to me, that's our chance of a blood moon. Is this shit glowing? No. 
Fuck it, I'm waiting. It's only raining. It's not thundering this time. No lightning. Shut up, Cass! I'll throw energy blades at you! Haha! <laughs> Come on, fight me. Fight me like a warrior! Okay. He just does not give a shit. It's like, whatever. You wanna hit me with your master sword? That's fine. As long as I get to play. Come on, moon. Show me. Show me the moon. Show it to me. What the fuck does the guide say? I'm waiting for this moon rise. Uh, speak to Cass at the top of the tallest mushroom-shaped spire at the south end of Wash's Bluff. The spire has a small canopy at the top, making it easy to identify from a distance. Cass's song refers to the blood moon, and the dice below is Cass's position. Something about having nothing between you and the and night air. Uh, uh, to reveal the shrine, stand in the dais wearing no equipment during a blood moon. You can either manually trigger a blood moon by passing time at a campfire, or attend to other tasks. Return to the dais when the blood moon naturally occurs. The time window during which a blood moon is active and therefore, when this quest can be completed, is 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. Okay. So, if the Blood Moon is here, then I should be able to, like, activate this quest immediately. So how about I just strip naked, strip to my bare bones, there we go, not even arrows, I, okay, I, guess I can't, I can't not equip arrows. And no sword. Let's just stand on the fucking dais. And I will literally just, like, pass time here. Until, apparently, a blood moon happens. Which means we need to get... Our... Shit. We need to get our... And we need to get our... Shit. No, I don't want the ruby. Alright, I can make a campfire right here. Oh, I don't have a sword! Yeah. Shit, give me the ruby. I don't want to burn the ruby. And then... No sword. Rest until night. It does look like the new moon, because I can't fucking see the moon. So my, 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 my uh, counting of the moon phases was correct. So now we're in a f quarter moon waxing. It's 9 p.m. The fucking thing isn't working! Dude! Why can't I swing my fists? That's what I want to do. I want to fucking start swinging my- don't- don't reach for the sword that you don't have! Hit Ganon with your fists. <sighs> Alright. Drop that. Back to Master Sword. Swing it once. Put the sword away. Unequip the damn sword. Moon. Moon right here. Damn it. Alright, so this is not a blood moon. Otherwise, then it, I would have met the conditions right then and there. It says it can be at- THE GUIDE! The fucking piggyback guide says that it should activate, like, right at 9 p.m. So, if there's a blood moon tonight, it'll be active right now, and this would be lighting up with orange energy, and then light up with blue energy when I step on it with my naked body. Do I have to de-equip the Sheikah Slate? I can't unselect a rune. Yeah. Rest until night. <laughs> it's not glowing. Makes me think that there's not a blood moon tonight. <laughs> nope. Not close enough. Waste of a flint. Okay. Oh, the sword! <laughs> the sword's gonna get me killed. <sighs> Alright, well. Rest again. No, rest again. Why can't this be a permanent campfire? Blood Moon! Blood Moon, come to me. Come on. Ugh. <sighs> 
And you know what the shitty thing is? As soon as I stop recording, as soon as I turn off all this equipment, I bet you there's gonna be a damn blood moon. Like, immediately. It's like, oh, the next night's the blood moon. Now's my chance to get the damn sh- Fuck, you stop bouncing away from the fire! Uh, ha! Blood moon, there's a firefly. Does firefly mean blood moon? <sighs> Damn it. There has to be, like, a more efficient way than this. Oh my god. Alright, let's fucking... Let's, let's search this shit. I need a blood moon for a quest. Stand on the pedestal. How do you get a blood moon? You need to kill monsters for a higher chance for it to happen. And I've killed like 50 monsters and waited like two weeks worth of getting game time. If a blood moon happens, go to a previous autosave. Happens every time you go to a new area. And warp to the shrine that overlooks it. Blah, 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 blah. You actually don't have to be standing there when the blood moon occurs. It just has to have to be the same night. Hmm. It only occurs at midnight. It doesn't work with the glitch one that happens at random times. What the fuck? All right. Ha! This guy's response is hilarious. Sit by a fire and wait until night. Wait till the moon appears just over the horizon. Cut the tip of your finger and a little blood comes out and smear the moon with the blood of your screen. Jeez, it took like a month, but as long as you have a flame weapon and some wood, it's all good. As soon as you wake up at night, the sun's dais will be glowing orange if it's a blood moon. Okay, fine. All right, well, the, the flame weapon is a good idea. Do I have one? Yes. Do I have two? No. So this is it. All right. According to the fucking uh, form right here, if a blood moon is going to happen that night, Then this shit will be glowing orange when I wake up. Boop, nope, okay, cool. Nighttime. What is a trailer? A trailer for the DLC that's coming out. Is that real? Nope! Sit. Is it a trailer for the expansion? Hmm. Nope. And these are different nights because the weather's changing, so that's good. Okay, this is a little faster. The fact that I'm like burning through days doing this. <laughs> Come on! God, how long would I have been sitting here if I had to actually wait for the fucking moon to get to the top of the sky at midnight for the goddamn blood moon to activate? Fuck you! Mm. I thought maybe a bomb would be able to make a fire. But it's like a weird fuck, ancient energy bomb. It doesn't have any fire properties. Now then, this trailer for the expansion pack, is this real? What do we got here? Why is there an Xbox logo? Oh, it's an ad. It's an ad for a different game before the trailer of the game that I want to go see. Cool. I like that. I like when the 90 second trailer is led by a 90 second ad for a different fucking game. <laughs> Shit. Stab and rest. Oh, it's a card game. It's a Witcher 3 card game. Cool. No, it's not glowing orange. Oh, look at 
that? It's the Nintendo. It's Eiji Onuma. He's gonna tell us about the expansion pack. It's all subtitled. I'm gonna get some volume on this. The summer? And end of the year. Okay, this is the same shit that I've already seen. I've seen this exact screen. <sighs> Damn it. They are selling that shirt everywhere. Come on, show us something. Okay, that's the logo. Thank you. I I know what the logo looks like. Nope. Okay, cool. It's a trailer for the expansion pack in the sense that it's fucking on, on, AG Onuma telling us about the expansion pack without any actual like details or uh you know, footage of Link wearing the different clothes and the different trials and the different enemies and all the other shit that's in the uh, <gasps> Where's my blood moon? <laughs> All right. I'm in this for the long haul if that's necessary, damn it. Just how fucking long? How fucking long do I have to wait? Blood Moon? Damn it. God fucking. Should I like wait until it says 905? <laughs> Damn it. It's not orange. <laughs> oh god. My insides. They're not enjoying this scenario at all. Sitting at a fireplace. <gasps> Link, you've been waiting here for fucking two weeks. Uh, probably a whole month. I don't know how many times I've rested at this fire. Oh my god, Zelda's dead. <laughs> She's been fighting Ganon for 100 years. Probably 101 based on how many times I've fucking waited for this blood moon. Gonna keep waiting. I am trusting the collective knowledge of the internet with uh, the fact that it'll be orange when I wake up. If uh, it's the right night. So it is not glowing orange in any way. And I can just fucking reset the fire and rest again. No. 
my fire spear like taking damage from this? No, it's not. Wow. Okay. I thought that I was gonna sit here until my spear broke at least, and then that would be like my point of giving up. But no. Thrusting the spear into thin air, and then just like catching something on fire with its area of effect doesn't actually do damage to the spear. So I could do this forever. It's starting to look like I will. Oh, where the fire my blood moon? <laughs> Damn it. Son of a bitch. Uh. <laughs> I'd be dead by now if this was like a survival game and you had like a hunger meter or some kind of like I don't know, energy meter. Just like not eating for days and days and days. You'd be a dead man. You'd be a fucking skeleton waiting for this blood moon. Son of a bitch. Okay. How many more times am I gonna try this? Okay! Night. <laughs> What's the guide say about blood moons? It has to be like a... There has to be something that this guide says on blood moons. Where's the appendix? No, not the Easter eggs. There you go, the index. B. B blood moon 21. Let's see. What the fuck? Not a damn thing about blood moons on this. Hold everything! Hold the fucking phone. Blood Moon. Page 21. Go to page 21. Uh, bow attacks, throwing weapons, damage calculation and weapon categories, switching weapons and shortcuts, item drops and outpost chests, enemy evolution and respawns. Okay. An excerpt from the strategy guide, if you would permit me to read. Uh, every full moon triggers the blood moon phenomenon, causing all defeated antagonists to respawn. This means that no matter how hard you try, you cannot rid the world of monsters. Those that you kill will eventually revive, or be revived. So it says during the full moon, hey look, there's a full moon. But why is this shit not glowing? It is not immediately apparent, but there are consequences for defeating enemies. As you take down more and more foes, you will trigger the appearances of upgraded versions of the same archetype. These can be identified by their color, which are increasing order of difficulty. Red, blue, black, white, silver, and so, while killing adversaries that lead to the immediate rewards, so also will gradually trigger the appearance of harder opponents. So! Here's a full moon! Here's a full moon right here. So, why isn't this shit glowing? Huh? If this is turnable, turn inable at the blood moon, what am I missing? What's, what, where's the missing key? Okay, this is, a, this is a full moon right here. 
We're gonna try this. If this shit does not work, then we've been at this for half an hour. I've been at this for half an hour. Who knows if I've maybe cut out some of the retries. But um, this is this is gonna be my last attempt at waiting for a blood moon. After this, I'm gonna go fucking force one. Cause somebody on the forum said you can you can increase the chances of a blood moon by killing monsters. And in case you haven't noticed, I've got lots of these little skulls all over the map, full of mini bosses that I've slain, and I know exactly where they are. And I can go back there and I can fucking kill them again. And I will, and that'll hopefully trigger some kind of blood moon phenomenon. Either way, I'm waiting till midnight on this full moon night. And seeing if this is a blood moon. Maybe that's the problem. I haven't killed enough creatures for the blood moon to want to respawn them. <gasps> Ooh. Who that? Who's that over there? Which one is that? Which which dragon is that? First of all, where is it? Way the hell over there. So he's gonna fly over the mountain range. Okay. Well, it's midnight. No blood moon. So I have not killed enough creatures for the blood moon to even want to exist, apparently. So, next time on Zelda, which will be the last episode that I record today, we're gonna force a blood moon. We're gonna go on a goddamn killing spree.